Well, here's a pretty sweet story. The Cornell Maple Program is on a mission to grow maple syrup production and boost rural economies by creating new products for the $30 million maple industry. News Channel 9's Nicole Simovilla introduces us to the chocolatier they've tapped to make an entirely new recipe. Inside her one-woman shop, Claire Benjamin is tapping into something sweet. Create chocolate that will utilize the maple sugar that Cornell has created. Delicious, but challenging. Her days start as the sun comes up and often end at 7.30 the next morning. But it's worth it to find the perfect blend and even create a product that could boost production because of the type of sugar. This sugar is amorphous sugar. But what it means that it's easily dissolved. And what that means in commercial scale for chocolate here in the confectionery industry is saving time in producing the chocolates. Claire is in phase one, learning the character of her cacao beans. The next step is the most crucial. Identify the correct um, temperature of roasting and also the timing for that. It's how she'll develop the chocolate taste, essential to go from bean to bar. And it's like a marriage, finding compatibility and balance while pulling the right flavor. They have so much character. There's 500 uh, different flavors in each beans. The goal? Finish the maple chocolate recipe sometime over the summer. She won't rush it, but Claire's well on her way. I think we'll get it. I just, yeah, I just don't want to jinx it. So. <laughs> tapping into her skills to create the perfect match of maple chocolate. Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 9. According to the Cornell Maple Program, sugar, sugar makers in New York have quadrupled production by 800,000 gallons since 2005, which creates the potential for a $100 million industry if farmers keep creating new products like these and selling them in different regions.